Welcome to my tutorial. I've just taken some ultramarine and cadmium yellow deep to make a dark color which is not really greenish. It's going to be a bit purplish. So starting uh, with the foreground and now I'm making strokes, diagonal strokes to divide different sections of my foreground. With blue, ultramarine blue and white, I'm painting the sky starting from the top and as I go towards the horizon line, I will desaturate it. I've also added now white with lemon yellow to give warmth to the sky. Now coming back to the foreground, I'll be using cadmium yellow deep, uh, lemon yellow and uh, yellow ochre, all, uh, all saturated colors. As I move towards the horizon line, my colors will become desaturated with white and much lighter along the horizon line. Now, I'm making these uh, vertical strokes uh, to divide different sections of my field. It's very interesting uh, how the palette knife picks up the dark color and uh, sort of creates a nice variety of strokes uh, and also changes the colors of the strokes. Now over here uh, I'm just scribbling or let's say just uh, tapping in circular motions or in flat motion, uh, flat taps uh, to create a feeling of uh, texture of flowers. At the back also I'm making some vertical lines to, sh uh, to show a further uh, division of the field. Uh, over there as well I have added some darker shade of um, the same color which I used in the foreground. Here I'm tapping lighter colors to show uh, the flowers to indicate or to give the impression of flowers. Now I'm tapping I'm stippling actually um, some dark colors to bring out the flowers. Here I'm sort of defining this part uh, which is actually a path which is going to go diagonally to the left. I'll keep this pattern of stippling all over the field. I have come back to the sky. Uh, want to add some cadmium as well in it plus a little darker color on the top so that it looks part of the whole and creates a nice, nice uh, rhythm. The other feature which I am adding right now with the edge, sharp edge of my palette knife is a tree. Now this tree is going to bring the eye back towards the main topic which is the mustard field. So I'm just using the edge of my palette knife. The color which I'm using is the same which I had used before 
for the foreground, which was vermilion and cadmium. Uh, it's a pretty dark color, but I needed this color to echo somewhere in the background as well. With my palette knife now, I'm adding foliage in the tree using a dark color. Now the same color, I'm just tapping it very gently near the horizon line just to define it, just given, giving an impression of some trees there. I think I have to soften this one as well, definitely, because it's going to take the eye away from the other tree, the main tree. And uh, the white at the back is actually helping a lot because it's softening up the darker color. I'm going right along the horizon line. Now I'm just tapping gently hovering over the field with a darker color to show the shadow of the tree. Here I'm adding a warmer color, slightly saturated warmer color in the, in the groups, different groups of the foliage. Now I'm going to add the lightest color which is on the top where the light is coming from. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.